Hey guys, Sonny Bryson here, and I'm gonna tell you exactly why your side hustles are not making you any money. And honestly, if you've been on YouTube or TikTok or social media overall, there's always those people telling you, yo, I have a side hustle, maybe three or five or seven, and I'm gonna tell you exactly how to make a bunch of money. <coughs> and you know those people also on the laptop, on the beach, passive income all the way. And in my defense, okay, when I made those videos, I was really trying to help and telling you the side hustles that made me a lot of money. But I've seen this cycle. You find a side hustle, you try it, you encounter some rough problems, and now you're like, oh, doesn't work, scam, moving on. So this video right here, I'm gonna tell you exactly why side hustles are just not working for you and how to make it work for you and how exactly to go out there and pick the right one to make sure you can actually make more money. And full transparency, guys, today, I wasn't gonna make this video. Today, I was gonna make a video about three side hustles that are gonna make you money, but then I was like, yo, Tommy, you're not solving a problem. You're flooding the supply even more and more, but then the problem is still there. Basically, a lot of information, but no way to apply it. So that's why I'm making this video to tell you exactly, hey, here's how you apply yourself when it comes to a side hustle to make sure you actually make money. If you guys are new here, subscribe, hit the bell to get notified. And on top of that, also destroy the like button and let's get started. The first thing is guys, I am a strong believer in this honestly, and it's that basically, if you don't know what you want, and why you want it, when you encounter some problems, you're just going to give up. So the most important thing is always, why do you want to make money from a side hustle or in a passive income stream exactly? And usually, you fall under three categories. First category is, for example, you want your side hustle to replace your main income, so that way you can quit that job that you might not like that much. And by the way, that was me with YouTube, and by the way, this is also a very high risk, high reward thing. Tell me, how's a high risk? You make money from YouTube, things go great for you. Yeah, that's true, but there are over a thousand videos you never saw, and there are over 11 years of hard work and trauma you didn't see either, okay? So that means high risk, but also high reward if you actually make it happen. But there is one thing I did to mitigate that or to lower my risk, which is basically, I got a degree in accountant, I got a job, and I started a business using my accounting skills. And that made me enough money so I could fully focus and concentrate on my side hustle. So that's the first reason you might wanna make money from a side hustle to basically quit the job you don't really like that much. Second reason, it might be you have this grandiose idea, massive idea, but you're missing one thing, and that is capital. And by the way, don't be the guy that has this great idea, has no way to prove it's going to work, has no history. That's just terrible. And I'm just hoping people give you money. I hate that. Okay. Just, just stop. Okay. But what you can do, for example, is say, well, I have no money. I have an idea. I'm going to go out there, acquire capital from these side hustles to get me the money that I need to do what I want. Now, that might be the reason that you actually want a side hustle, okay? Now, what's a perfect example of someone that did this? I don't know. Is there is there anyone? Is there anyone? Yeah, it's that guy right there. Warren Buffett. So, for example, Warren Buffett wanted to be an investor and make a lot of money in investing. But what does that require? Requires capital. So what did he do? He started a paper route. Started, for example, putting little vending machines and also like little gimbals in barbershops and made money from that. And by age 19, he has saved $10,000. Also, high risk, high reward. But what did he do to lower his risk? Well, he has some capital. He made some money, he didn't borrow the money, and then on top of that, he acquired the knowledge and started putting it to action. And he also learned from very smart people. And then, once he had the knowledge, had some capital and some money, he went back home and started his own fund and used other people's money to make himself even more money. Again, the purpose, reason here is, hey, I need money to start my idea. And by the way, again, don't wait for things to happen to you make things happen for yourself. Now, the third reason might be, well, Tommy, I like my job. Honestly, I do. But I want to make sure that my job is a choice and not a must. Like, I have to be here, okay? So this means all you really want from a side hustle is to say, hey, 
I just want some extra income to go on vacation, to pay off my house, to pay off the debt, whatever it is. You just want some extra money. And usually, this is where most people basically are. And that's why they go on TikTok and YouTube and try to find ideas and so on and so on. They try it out for one month and then boom, ah, I'm not a gazillionaire yet, so I quit. That's where most people are. But I have an example for you. My friend, he has a very good paying job. He likes it, it's not that bad, but he doesn't want it to be like a have to. He wants it to be a choice. Like I work here because I want to, not because I have to. So what did he do? And by the way, this right here is moderate to lower risk to potentially moderate to maybe some high rewards, but usually, it's moderate because you still have your job, you just want something passive and so on. So what did he do? He learned about real estate investing and he bought his first property. He lives in a little room, rents the rest, that gives him passive income. And you could also, for example, say, hey, I have this job, I'll use my money from there, put it into mutual funds, and that's gonna make me some passive income also, which could be considered a side hustle, potentially. But why am I telling you this, you guys? Why am I telling you these stories and these examples? Because basically, I believe it's very important that you know exactly why you're doing something and in what category you fit into. Are you trying to quit your job? Are you trying to build an idea? Or do you just want some extra income? It's important you know what you wanna do and also the risk level because when you don't know, what happens is this, okay? I had a call and if you guys don't know, I take calls from you guys for free um, from Monday to Friday, the link is down below, join me if you want to. Again, the calls are free. Now, I got a call and the caller said, Tommy, I have this business idea that I wanna get started. It's my side hustle and I wanna quit my job. And I said, why do you wanna quit and what's your situation? And they said, I don't like my job and I wanna fully focus all of my energy, all of it every single ounce into making this work and making me money. Plus, I don't like working for other people, okay? And I was like, okay, but what's your current situation? And they said, well, I have $65,000 in debt, red flag. I have a child, okay, that's responsibility. And I have zero money made to this date from that side hustle. I'm like, that is the stupidest thing you could do because you have no working formula, you have no evidence, and you're going to quit the only thing that takes care of you when you're a child. Dumbest thing ever, that's what I said, my response. When you don't know the possibilities, when you don't know the risks, when you don't know what you want, this is the type of ideas that come into your head the Hollywood mindset, okay? Quit everything, go after your dream, be homeless. I don't like being homeless, so I don't recommend it, okay? Now, Tommy, I get that. But let me explain part two to this video right now. And it's basically, how do I find the side hustle that makes sense for me? And how do I make sure that it's actually the one? Well, I believe that there are three things you wanna look for, or three qualities you wanna look for in a side hustle. But these three things also involve you having certain qualities to make sure that it works out because not just a side hustle, but it's also the person working on it. If you don't have any skills, you can have the best side hustle, but it probably won't work. It's just the way things work. So you need to have good skills, but you also need to have a good side hustle. So I'll tell you how you find it. These three things are this right here. First thing is the side hustle you pick needs to be something that you like. Being serious here, something you like. If you don't like it, you're going to be miserable. I strongly believe it. You know why? Because a side hustle usually is going to require a lot of effort and also a lot of energy. And it's using a lot of back breaking work. And by the way, I don't mean work yourself into an early grave, okay? I read this article, or this video, honestly, like I watched on YouTube, and there was this girl lady, and she worked so hard on her channel, her business, that she caught a stroke because she didn't sleep. So in order to put in the work and the effort, you need to like it, but you also need to have energy. Meaning, hey, where does energy come from, Tommy? It comes from sleep, enough sleep. It comes from eating healthy, okay? And it also comes from exercise. So when you don't have these things and you're just all over the place, well, usually, Longevity wise, you're probably gonna have some massive failure. Maybe not in the business, but maybe in your body. 
and you don't want either of those. And on top of that also guys, it's important you like it because when you like something, it's easier to make time to actually do it because most of the time you have a job and you're trying to do some sign, but if you hate it, what are the odds you're actually going to work on it? Imagine for example, I, I, I invite you to this job, right? And you're gonna be paid $0. You're gonna be working for example, 10 to eight hours a day, but on top of that, you hate everything about what I'm asking you to do. How long can you keep doing it for? Probably not that long, okay? Probably not that long. That's why it's important that you actually like the side hustle you're gonna do. How do you make sure you like it? Because you'll know when you like something just as you know when you don't like something, okay? Now, the second thing you wanna make sure you actually find in the side hustle is basically, you need to find something that you're good at, okay? And I can't believe I'm saying this, but it's very important what you choose to do is something you're good at, or at least willing to get very, very good at it. I can't tell you how many of my friends I know that want to be rappers and are just not good, okay? And are not willing to get better, they just love what they do and they're gonna keep doing it, but it's not gonna work out, okay? Because the skills are just not there. So you need to develop the skills. So for example, there's this fallacy that you're, you either have it or you don't have it. And again, it comes from Hollywood, okay? Those movies when they say, hey son, you just don't have what it takes, so just go away. No, I don't believe in that, okay? I believe when it comes to knowledge and skill, you either build it or you don't build it, okay? And by the way, I'm not telling you, well, work on your weaknesses. No, you also wanna work on your strength, but you have to be able to develop those strengths in something that you're very good at. For example, was I born with the skill to speak to a camera? <laughs> Yeah, of course, I'm just kidding, okay? I wasn't born with that skill. I chose to go ahead and say, hey, I'm gonna make a thousand videos without you guys, you know, ever caring about them because it kind of sucked, honestly. And I'm gonna work very hard at this. And, and, and by the way, I'm gonna learn from the best people out there by buying their courses, buying their books, and basically doing all the work to get a lot better at what I'm doing. So again, okay, you need to make sure you're good at it or you're willing to get very good at it, okay? Because I don't believe in the you got it or you don't got it. No, that's not true. There is a way to develop a skill by learning from people that are better than you. So look for a side hustle again that you're good at. But if you are terrible at it, I know when to call it quits. I love singing. I'm not a good singer, okay? If I started singing right now, I would get like at least a thousand dislikes, okay? But so that's why I, I, I will restrain myself. Although I love it, I'm not good at it. You gotta learn how to be honest with yourself and know the difference, okay? Now, the third quality you wanna look for when it comes to a side hustle is you wanna look for a side hustle that is going to make you money or has the potential to make you money and you're also willing to, to make it make you money. Because by the way, a side hustle, the money isn't just gonna come to you. You gotta make this work. You gotta go out there and sell yourself, okay? Or sell the idea or sell the business. That's the whole perspective here. And by the way, you know, a side hustle, we all start at zero. So whenever I hear, Tommy, I watched this video on YouTube, they said I can make $50 a day, $100 a day, $500 a day, but I haven't made a dollar, so it's obviously a scam. The answer is no. It might not be that it's a scam, or it might be a scam, don't get me wrong, but it might just be that, yo, you haven't put in the work, and that's it. And in reality, guys, when you have people that basically, they don't like what they do, they're not good at it, and on top of that, it makes them no money, you know what that happens? That rules out all the complainers, all the trollers, all the people that just don't have it right now. And at least people like you that are willing to put in the work. And that's the most powerful thing. That's why it's so important. Yeah. You know, the house you pick, although you might start at zero, it might have the potential to make you five figures, six figures, seven figures. How do you know this? Because when I started YouTube, I saw how many of my competition were actually making. I say, well, they're making X amount of money. I can do that because I'm willing to put in the time, put in the work, put in the effort, the energy, and that is what it takes. So overall, Tommy, what is the point of all this? The video, right? So long-term team, honestly, I don't have any suggestions for you as far as, for example, do this or do that. All I try to do with this video is basically give you and tell you exactly 
make sure you know why you're doing what you're doing. And here is what you basically want to look for. Because, you know, I, I, I watched this video with Jordan Peterson, a doctor guy, and he said, when you have a thousand choices, no choice you make is going to be right. Because you're always going to double think and come back and say, like, well, that choice could have been better. This one's going to be the results that fast. I'm going to try this one and that one and this one. It's just terrible. So sometimes, again, guys, okay, all the choices are out there. I have videos and side hustles. If you want to do something, try it. But make sure it fits what you want out of a side hustle. And make sure you're willing to put in the work to make it work. That's the entire deal, okay? It's kind of like if I told you, hey, you need to be this type of person and you need to know exactly what you want. And here is what you want to look for, for example, in a wife, right? Would it be a good idea for me to tell you, hey, this girl right here has what you want, marry her? Probably not, okay? It's a lot more fun to go look and find for yourself exactly who it is you want to marry. Same thing with a sad hustle. So now that you know, hey, here's why I want to do this, okay? to build my business, to quit my job, to just make some extra money, to do whatever I want to do, right? And here's what I want to look for. I like it. I'm good at it. It makes me money or it has the potential to make me money. I'm willing to actually wait and make it happen and do all the studying, learn from smart people. I'm willing to put in the work and I'm going to try this idea right here and I'm not going to stop until I figure things out. And by the way, don't get me wrong, guys. I'm not telling you to keep beating a dead duck, okay? I don't know what the example is, but I'm not telling you to basically keep hitting the same thing over and over again, the same exact way, and hope things change. That is the definition of insanity, okay? Now, what I'm telling you is give things a fair try. So when you see a side hustle idea on YouTube, give it a fair shot. And for me, that was always like 18 months. And it means if it's not working in the first, first month, try to pivot, okay? What am I doing wrong here? What can I do here? What can I learn? What am I missing, okay? Keep trying to develop things. But if all you do is jump from one to the next to the next, most likely it's never gonna work out. And I'm here to be honest, so that's what I'm telling you, okay guys? But guys, that is all. And I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. As always, like, subscribe, Hit the bell to so get notified. On top of that, also watch more content here. If you want to call me, call me directly. The link is down below. Or send me a DM on Instagram, Tiny Bryson. And here is my channel. Subscribe over here. Peace out. Long-term team. Out.